As I mentioned at the start of the show, we have three companies beginning a major anniversary season this autumn. The third one is the Theater Guild of Webster Groves, whose 90 seasons are as many as the Rep and the Black Rep combined. As with most community theaters, the level of achievement at the Guild is variable, but I've noticed that it does its best work when it is doing the best works. This category certainly includes Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, which has attracted a very strong cast for the Guild's production. This is hardly surprising. The characters in the Tennessee Williams classic are among the most memorable ever created for the American stage. The title character is Maggie, a pretty girl from an impoverished background who has married into a wealthy family, but who has lost her husband's love for reasons that are unclear at the start of the play. The allure with which she tries to win back her husband is abundantly clear in Noreen Ann Rhodes' resolute performance, which is equally noteworthy for not descending into caricature. An admirable avoidance of overplaying is also evident in Joshua Devitt's portrayal of Maggie's husband, Brick. He was once a football star and a popular sportscaster. Now all he's after is the click that goes off in his head that tells him when he is drunk enough to forget how much he loathes his wife and himself. Devitt makes it clear that Brick is hobbled by far greater injuries than the one to his foot. Brick's parents have larger-than-life personalities suggested by their names, Big Daddy and Big Mama. He's the owner of a plantation in Mississippi that encompasses, in his own words, 28,000 acres of the richest land this side of the Valley Nile. We can tell from Paul James' performance that Big Daddy is the owner of all he surveys, but we can also see the effects of a cancer diagnosis that has been delivered to the family, but not yet to Big Daddy or Big Mama. Betsy Burnett Belanger captures the hurricane force of Big Mama's personality. Burnett Belanger and James play off each other very well, so that Big Mama's love for Big Daddy is totally convincing and his indifference to her is completely understandable. Howie Hirschfeld as Gooper and Betsy Gasoski as May are a well-matched pair as Big Daddy's scheming elder son and his venal wife. Tim Cunningham makes Reverend Tooker the toady he is supposed to be, while Will Shaw gives Dr. Baugh a manner befitting a physician. Rebecca Jones, Francesca Kors, and Quentin Chisholm perform well as Gooper and May's unruly children. John Osterman's direction shows a fine appreciation of the play's rhythms and speech patterns. The production is well lit by Larry Zariga and well costumed by Burnett Belanger. Mark Mobeck, Debbie Love, and Osterman have collaborated on a set that facilitates the action with design choices that might not work in a real bedroom, but do work nicely on a small stage. A lot of volunteering has gone into bringing the Theater Guild of Webster Groves to its 90th season. All that effort is a reason to celebrate, as is this fine production of Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Hey, thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe and check us out on Facebook. The link is below.